This next segment, we're gonna be going over lacrosse positions. Let's start with attack. If I'm an attackman, I am an offense focused player. So with your skill set, we wanna be good at dodging, we wanna be good at feeding, and we wanna be good at shooting. One thing that you'll see attackmen do a lot is cradle like this. If you are an attackman, there is almost 100% certainty that you're gonna be covered by a defenseman and defensemen have long sticks. And so when you're being covered by a long stick and you have your stick out here in front of your body, you're leaving your stick open to get checked. And so a lot of attackmen practice cradling with one hand and their second hand is protecting the stick. So one tip that I'll give to you young attackmen would be to practice this cradling sequence against a mirror. And what that'll allow you to do is see what the defenseman would see as you're cradling. And so as you can see right now, my stick is still open to get checked. Now it is not. And so you can work on different cradling and changing hands and rolling without too much space needed against a mirror, allowing you to see if you're protecting your stick well or not. Midfield. For the midfield position, you play offense, you play defense, you need to be able to get up and down the field a lot. Your ground that you have to cover is more than any other position because you have to get all the way back to, the, to your defensive half to play defense as well as get up to your offensive half and help your team on offense. The other part of being a midfielder is understanding when is a good time to substitute. So there's good times to sub and there's bad times to sub. We want to understand that as midfielders, we want to sub after the ball has been cleared. If the ball gets turned over on offense and we sprint to the box to substitute out, we may be creating a transition opportunity for our opponent, which we obviously do not want to do. So we want to focus on not only the skill sets of playing offense and defense, but the timing of our substitutions. Now with the skill sets of offense and defense, what you'll see a lot of midfielders working on is shooting on the run. So because we're playing more so up top than behind, we have the opportunity to get a running start at our defender. And then once we make our move as midfielders, we may have 10 to 15 yards to run into and set up a shot. With that being said, a lot of the best midfielders in the world have great shots on the run because once we make a move with a lot of time and room and space up top, there will be a defender on our back hip. And so if we plant our feet and we only have a set shot in our arsenal, we are going to be limited as midfielders. So we want to focus on shooting on the run. Now, being a midfielder does not limit you to just shooting on the run. You also want to be working on your feeding skill set, obviously the dodging skill set, as well as off ball, being able to cut, catch, and finish. Those are all very, very valuable skills as a midfielder. Now, when you're playing defense, we not only want to understand how to play one-on-one -on -one defense, we also want to understand team defense and how to play off ball. So if I'm covering someone and their teammate has the ball on the far side of the field, I want to know what my role is in relation to the rest of my team, because that's going to help my team play better team defense. The midfield position, is a dynamic position because we're playing both sides of the ball. What you'll see at the higher levels is you'll see specialty types of midfielders. In some cases, some midfielders are just face-off athletes. In some cases, some midfielders are just defense oriented. In some cases, midfielders are just offense oriented. Like I mentioned earlier, that's probably not something that you're going to designate at the youth or maybe even high school level. So we wanna practice playing both offense and defense because at every single level, there is a need for a two-way midfielder, a midfielder that has confidence to play both sides of the ball. Coaches find a lot of value in players that can do that. We're gonna go over two positions in one. Both have a long pole in mind. So one is defense and two is long stick midfielder. Either way, you're gonna have a long pole. As a defender, you are going to be playing what we call close defense. So what that means is you are covering an attackman, 
You're probably not going to be stepping over the midfield line too much, maybe once or twice in a game, but your primary role is going to be defense and clearing up to the midfield line. So as a long pole defender, as a close defender, you are probably matched up with an attackman the entire game and that's your matchup and you're also focused on playing good team defense. So we usually rely on our long pole defenders to be our leaders on defense, meaning we want them to be communicating to the midfielders who are doing more of the running, what they want them to do, where they want them to be. So not only are you focused on your matchup, you're also focused on communicating to your teammates and being a good leader to your team. Now as a long stick midfielder in LSM, you're still using the long pole, but it is a midfield position. So what that means is you'll be playing a little bit of offense. And so as the ball is cleared, you are going to have hopefully the skill sets of being able to dodge, feed and shoot. Because in those transition situations, when we go from defense to offense, a long stick midfielder that has those offensive skills provides a lot of value to their team because they're able to create good opportunities in those transition situations. The other thing that long stick midfielders want to be cognizant of is face-offs. You are going to be playing the wing on face-offs as a long stick midfielder or LSM. And so in those face-off situations, ground balls are obviously a huge component of that skill set. And so between defenders and long stick midfielders, this is going to be a consistent piece but the long stick midfielders are going to be asked to be doing a little more up and down running, a little more substitution, and the long stick defenders are going to be asked to cover probably the better offensive attackman players and be more so team defense oriented and better communicators for their team.